Okay, last question of the paper. Annex to C, so now make sure that you have it, right? Annex to C is this graph, right? It then says, shows data relating to the 2015-2016 admissions for full-time NSC candidates for the 11 most common subjects. All full-time candidates have to take at least seven subjects. Mathematics or math literacy is compulsory. This is quite important. So it means that everyone that writes matric, right, has to either do maths or math literacy. So that accounts for everyone in matric. Okay, then it says study this and answer the questions. Name another type of graphical representation that could be used to represent this data. This data. Sorry, my I lisp a little bit sometimes. Right, so over here, it is a bar graph. You should be able to see it's a bar graph. It's a compound bar graph because there's two bars per category, right? Um, but what you could do, right, because we're comparing years here, you could have changed it and you could have drawn it like this where you put uh, years here. Right, and then you could have had number of people, number of people, and then you could have had a little key over here with each of the different subjects, and you could have drawn the lines, like whatever, you know, and you could have put it on like that. So you could do a line graph for this. Sorry, my drawing there is not particularly fantastic, but it is what it is. Okay, so question five, um, what number is it? It's 5.1.1, so 5.1.1, you can say line graph okay or a broken line graph but line graph is the most obvious then it says determine the maximum number of cam candidates who were admitted as full-time candidates in 2016 so now this is important we said that all candidates full-time candidates either have to do maths or math literacy that's quite important so what we're going to do is we're going to take a highlighter we're going to go to maths and it says 2016 remember 2016 are these bars here so we're going to look at that and we're going to add it to the maths, because everyone either does math lit or they do maths core, right? So we can add those two numbers together. So we're going to say maths core plus math lit gives me 287453 plus 389615. So that's maths core plus math lit. Pop that into your calculator. Make sure you type it in correctly. Very easy to um, type these things in incorrectly. And we get six seven seven zero six eight candidates cool so not difficult questions but again important to make sure that we're reading correctly let's look at the next one it says determine the probability of randomly selecting a candidate taking maths or math literacy who was admitted in 2015. Now, we know that all candidates have to do maths or math literacy. So our probability is just going to be one, right? It's that, or you can write 100%, but everyone takes either maths or math literacy, right? So it's a really easy question. Don't overthink it. 5.1.4. List all, all the subjects that showed a decrease in the number of full-time candidates admitted from 2015 to 2016. What's quite nice is they've shown us the difference on the side here. So we don't even have to do the maths. All we can do is go look at the ones that have went down. So what went down? That went down, 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 down. So there were four subjects that went down. Accounting, business studies, economics, and math lit. Okay, so math lit went down. So 5.1.4. Please write these out fully. I'm just doing this for the sake of time. Um, business studs. Um, Ecos and Maths Lit. Okay, so those are the, all the ones that went down. The rest of them all went up, right? So just look across and see which ones went down. Ones that went up, we're not too concerned with because that's not what they asked us to focus on. Let's now move to the next question. Name the subject that showed the greatest increase in the number of candidates admitted in 2016. So again, we're looking at the same column, but this time we're looking for the greatest increase. So we have that, that, that. That's not the greatest, not the greatest. I'm thinking the greatest, I thought life science, but actually it is mathematics. Okay, so mathematics went up by 18,200. So we're just going to say mathematics. So all they're asking us to do here, right, is to literally interpret what we're seeing, right? For some of you, that's a little bit tricky because it's not something that's like intuitive or, or maybe you look at it and you're like, I don't see any of this. I don't know what's going on. But I'm hoping that through this video, you can see what's going on, okay? 
So explain why this is called categorical data. Well, what do we know about categorical data? It's grouped, right? And here we're grouped into subjects, right? And therefore it's categorical, okay? So you can just say it's categorical because it is grouped into subjects, okay? So you'll see that in a lot of these questions, this paper was actually very sort of study heavy in the, in the sense that you had to know your definitions, you had to know your particulars. Um, some papers aren't like that, but don't forget to go learn sort of your terminology because you don't want to lose marks for stuff like that. Okay, 5.1.7 says, identify which subjects in 2016, which subject, so there's only one, had more than 233,000. So write that out. Right, write it out because sometimes when you see it in words, you're like, <laughs> what? Right, write it out so that you see it. So it's more than that and less than 274,000. Okay, so something that's in between and we're talking about 2016. Okay, let's look. No, no, that looks like it could be one. No, 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 no. So it is business studies, okay? So you need to make sure that when you read questions that you're interpreting them, right? Do you see that as I read it, I make it easier for myself to access and that's what I expect you to do. Okay, so I'm gonna make it, what did we say? Business studies. Obviously you write it out in full, but there's your answer. Okay, we have one more video and then we are done. Good job.